Hi guys, my name is Peter and welcome to our channel. Today we do have another video about Amiga A1200. Also I was gonna tell you a little bit story about uh, Skin Plus Aga. I bought for a month ago, uh, probably like a month ago or so, for my Amiga 1200 and uh, how well it works. Anyway, if you do have any Amigas besides uh, 3000, you know to plug it uh, Amiga to LCD screen or LCD monitor. There's a couple options. You can go with AV, uh, RGB 23 pin, and or RF. RF, RF probably no one using. Uh, AV, I kind of, I mean, kind of okay probably. It's not really acceptable on a quality wise, but kind of okay. Or you can do even mod for S video. Anyway, uh, probably the less uh, uh, painful and most affordable that's uh, RGB to VGA. And uh, you can get one of those boards. That's my second one. The first one died less than a week after since I purchased it. Uh, this guy, it's working okay. I, I even added some uh, aluminum foil on the back to keep it uh, interference and uh, but the thing is it like I said it works okay if if I didn't have a 3000 why I'm saying that because the 3000 has a, a native VGA uh, built in and if I play my Amiga 1200 through that guy and then swap it to 3000 you can tell a huge difference in the quality wise I mean it's still okay but if you not compare it anyway uh, long st uh, story make short, pretty much I decided to get a skin doubler, internal skin doubler and flicker fixer for Amiga 1200. The thing is, and, and there's only a few, a few options I did find it. Uh, skin plus Aga or uh, made by individual AGA MK2. Uh, the AGA MK2 they go really really expensive on eBay it's outrageously high price All, uh, sometimes it goes twice as much as I pay for Amiga 1200 pretty much in the 300 to 500 bucks price range that's unbelievable how expensive anyway I decided to go with a Scan Plus Aga it's $110 from uh, Amiga store from Spain and those guys, I, I like them. I bought so many parts for uh, me, for uh, my Amiga 3000, 1200. Now I'm getting some parts for 500. I mean, all around, it's a good price, good service. Shipping time, I mean, what you can, what you can do, it's completely from other side of the uh, world, you know. <laughs> it's it have to take time. Anyway, with Scan Plus Aga, like I said, I'm using for all, over a month, slightly over a month. Probably so far I put uh, maybe close to 100 hours uh, playing some games or so. I mean, I, put, I, I use it a lot. And uh, so far I like it, but there's a one thing I'd like to mention it. Pretty much, let's go system, preference. I was gonna show you, right now I'm running on a PAL high res. Uh, 694 by 283 I added a few more modes here and pretty much it's 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 not really all modes supported interlace mode will not support let me switch it to interlace and that's gonna be 600 uh, 694 by 566 and if I'm using that the screen will flickers and flickers pretty bad to that point where it's not usable and uh, looks like a skin plus aga it's a skin doubler but not really flicker fixer because if it did has that option flicker fi fixing it the screen will not uh, flickers or if I did have old enough monitor which has a flicker fixer built in then my screen will not uh, flicker Anyway, to go around the problem, I did install a few more modes like Euro 72 and Multiscan. 
if I go with multi scan productive, which resolution 657 uh, by 480, which is pretty good. I mean, it 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 turns really nice, no flickering, and a really nice crisp picture. I really enjoy it. And uh, if you compare it uh, this quality with uh, Amiga 3000, I I I'm not really can tell a difference. Uh, like I said, it, it works really nice, but interlace mode will not will not will not work properly. It will flicker. All around, like I said, it's pretty good, especially for the price. It's a it's only hundred ten dollars, and it works. Uh, like I said, it's pretty good. Let's power it off, and I will show you how how it looks inside. I mean, how it mounts. It's actually straightforward. I mean. Uh, it clips on the way the way they did advertise it. That the unit it's a two module unit. Uh, that's the one guy. That's another guy. I also still using my uh, hard drive carrier or yeah carrier because it's uh, power supply mounted. I have to still use it. I mean, when I get that adapter, I thought I was gonna remove uh, move it power supply somewhere over here but then this carrier also you uh, work not only to hold power supply also to support your keyboard otherwise your keyboard will start start sagging and like i said that's a main unit that's the second one uh it's connected by by one wire and one thing i really like it let me try it remove it yeah it it it's i mean when you clip it on it goes nice tight and snug I mean, when you when you clip it, you know it's there. It will not it will not go uh, come out by itself. Yeah, yeah. It will not, it will not come out by itself. It clips on, boom, it's there. Well, guys, that's kind of short video. I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will really appreciate. It.